Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be revisiting Revhead. I played this game a while ago or when it came out. I like some of the ideas, it needed some work and there have been a bunch of updates. Uh, going to see if it has improved any since it uh, was first released. The whole point of this game is you buy cars, you do them up, you go racing or you can sell them, try and make profit. I believe you can actually just sort of buy wrecks of cars, strip them down and sell the parts. That's another way to uh, to be making money. We're going to hopefully buy a car, sort of work on it and do some racing. There's going to be a fair few more racing stuff added in since I last played. So these are the vehicles for sale. All of the purchasing is done via the the newspaper via the, the car parts magazine whatever you want to call it and uh, yeah you can sort of scroll through here uh, so that's the list of cars for sale at the moment then there's all of this stuff in here that's all the various parts for the vehicles to get them working you can now they've added this feature which is quite nice uh, rather than this kind of refreshing almost randomly you can now just go and buy another one that will reset the whole lot as far as i know car wise and i I think it changes parts, I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, there's a whole new um, selection of bits you can see down uh, in the lower left-hand corner. There's now a timer that uh, will reset until you can go and refresh it again, essentially, to find something interesting. Uh, I'm still on the save from uh, previous time, so we've got $18,000 to be working with. What do we fancy? Just looking through here. There's a wrecked drag car that sounds interesting. That does sound interesting to me. Sure, shall we do up the wrecked drag car? <laughs> this can this could only go only go well. Yeah, we'll take the wrecked drag car. Uh, what I might also do is I might take there is another there is a, a another wrecked Mag Mag Magura. I might buy that. It's four thousand. I have ten thousand. Let's have a, let's have a look at what state that car is in. So we will uh, head over to our little parking spot eventually when it loads. Here is our car. It is uh, not in the best of conditions. We will select that one. Okay, so you can see we've got uh, some lovely giant tyres at the back. How much is missing? We can fix up the bodywork. That's fine. It's going to cost us $1,000 to fix it, but we will fix up the bodywork. We'll give it a nice clean as well while we are here. See how much tremendous amount of rust there is. Uh, okay, let's actually shall we turn it on see if it starts. Um, ah, okay. <laughs> Ah, we're out, we're out of we're, we're out of well maybe we don't even we might not even have a uh, radiator on our car probably be a, ah there we go see would be a good idea to uh, <laughs> shouldn't just try firing the damn thing up uh, that's never a good idea we're actually relatively mechanically speaking in one piece here which is surprising we're missing some steering and we're missing yeah we're missing kind of the steering and the dashboard we're kind of missing interior bits the rest of the engine is actually not too bad we've got air filter missing. Um, Generator is is broken. Okay, we can go through there and we can re we can we can re work on that. We can replace those bits. Um, so to the newspaper we go. Now it's a little bit more simplified than the likes of my summer car. This one uh, a little bit more along the lines of um, car mechanic simulator. Only you don't actually have to undo bolts a set to get you know, stuff out. It is. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit simplified. It kind of works quite well, though. Everything doesn't have to be horrendously, horrendously detailed um, to be to be enjoyable. Uh, we could buy a used racing dashboard, or we could buy a full uh, new dashboard for the Magura. I'm thinking we'll go for the racing dashboard. I hope this fits. There does seem to be a fair amount of like compatibility uh, between parts, on the most parts. Um, so that's always nice. Yes, we will install... That there we go. So we've got the in, the, the dashboard is in. We've got space for uh, five small instruments, two large instruments. Uh, we can now fix up. So the dashboard we got it was used, but it's in ninety percent condition, so that's fine. Let's go find a radiator. I've got distracted. We have been distracted immediately. Um, okay, we need a radiator. Radiator. Do we have? Uh, we have radiator fans. We have new radiators for different cars. Uh, maybe we'll go. Okay. Uh, we'll go. I've just bought a new one. Okay, so yeah, it does change the uh, change the parts that are in here. Now there is a new radiator for a Magura. Uh, seeing as this is like a drag car, I was just imagine it's quite powerful. We will take that. So brand new radiator installed. Voila! And now we can go get a fan. 
Uh, have we got a new fan? New fans. Is there a new fan for used fan from Agura? That'll do. I will take that. Now we can install that in here. Oh, we did actually have a cooling fan already. Whoops. Should have probably checked. Um, we want to install that. That's in good enough condition. Okay. Uh, that's looking for instrument clusters. We should probably get. We should get some steering. We should get some steering indeed. And that is going to be under... I'm not sure, actually. Where will... Ah, there we go. It's under suspension. That yeah, kind of makes sense. Steering system for Magura. I will take that. Thank you. How, what condition? Oh, it's brand new. Even better. Perfect. Okay, so I've now got some steering. That's decent. Um, tires and wheel. I'll probably check on all of the various bits and pieces. Uh, if it says if fix up... Oh, okay. Control arm's broken. Uh, if, it, if it gives me an option to fix it, I, I will as opposed to going to buy a new one. Uh, front hub, fix. That. Oh, god damn it. The wheels are broken. Uh, I, I, once it gets below a certain percentage, I think it's too far gone to be able to fix. I think it will still drive with them as broken? I don't actually know. We'll try that. What is it that we need on the top here with the glowy orb? Uh, we need an air filter of some sort. I feel like we should have a supercharger on this. I don't know what the engine... What engine block do we have, actually? Uh, is it just generic XGTV8? Uh, we should probably fix that. That would be quite an... Oh, this is, this is getting an expa... I might have pushed myself a little bit too much here on the old uh, <laughs> repairing side of things. Let's get an air filter for now. Engine. We need a... Uh, I wonder if we can, when we come across one of these XG... What's it called? Oh, filter. Uh, racing air filter? Yeah, let's, let's take a racing air filter. Let's get that stuck on there. And install. Okay, fantastic. Now we need, as far as dials go, we might try driving it. <laughs> That's asking for trouble. Once we've got, we'll get a couple of dials for it, which are under, not that way, uh, extra. No, they will be under interior. There we go. So we're going to want a, we're going to want a fuel gauge. That's, a, that's generally a given. We're going to want a fuel gauge. Uh, yeah, we will take that. We will get a rev counter. We will get also a speedometer. There's only one available, so we'll take that and hope that, that will fit. Large instrument, yes, okay, it will fit. The speedo was in... Oh, no, the speedo was in decent enough condition. That's fine. Rev as well, and then we can stick in a fuel gauge. Also, uh doesn't show, sadly it doesn't show them from this view. I think if you don't have them when you go to drive the car, it um, then you, know, you won't have the, the information up on the screen, which is quite neat. Uh, we do have a lovely drive shaft. It's not in great condition, but it does work at least. Now, just out of curiosity, so the car is now worth $12,000. It's about worth what I, roughly what I sort of paid for it. Uh, I do actually have a whole bunch of parts in my inventory. Oh, didn't. Apparently, I starts the engine. Oh, that engine's exploded. But <laughs> that's not so good. That's not so good at all. Um, oh, it's exploded catastrophically, and has uh, oh, it's all gone. <laughs> um, whoopsie. I might. I didn't actually mean to start the engine at all in all of that. I actually meant to look at my inventory to see what parts I had. Can you cock things up horrendously? Yes. Yes, you can. You can cock them up massively and very, very expensively. Uh, that's quite. It's quite neat that it actually lets you do that. I didn't realise. Did not realise that at all. Uh, this needs so many parts. I'm kind of wary that at the stage that I'm at, I'm going to spend. A fair amount of money. You know what we're going to do here. Okay, I'm going to have this as a write-off. We said we're going to cut our losses. Get rid of it. I, I did some... We lost We lost four grand on the, <laughs> on the car. Oopsie. Let's buy it. Let's have a... Let, let's start afresh. Maybe let's not have such a beat-up thing to begin with. I think that, that would... I mean, I could easily, you know, repair it. I think I needed more money than I had to begin with. That was a little bit of a... Um, yeah, a li little bit too much work required on that one for me. Shall we go and grab 
Uh, there's a beautiful 1980 Wanja, apparently. Um, it is fully restored. Listed at below list price. Okay, so out of curiosity here, as far as a uh, kind of trading game. So we've seen this one come up. It's 7250 bucks. So we'll take it. Apparently, it's in good condition. That car then will head to our garage. Uh, so we will get in that. Uh, so... Yeah, it, they, they reckoned it was 7000 and a bit, so we can't sell it for more money than we paid for. That's kind of understandable. Um, let's have a look uh, at the engine. I don't know what engine it has got in it. Ooh, not seen one of those before. We have got a, um, a nice inline six. I, that's, I think that's new from when I last played the game. So there are more engine options available, which is always, which is always nice. Uh... Everything, everything on the car does seem to be in fairly decent, uh, decent condition. Right now, we're going to we're going to uh, put the car down and let's just go and let's go and check. Uh, let's go and check battery. We'll charge the battery up. Always a good idea. Water is there. Uh, we will give it a bit of top up with oil. We will give the tire some pressure. I don't know if this is like uh, full means. I don't know if, if if full is you know if it needs to have full or whether that is like genuine like a, a, a PSI. So you might you, you know you don't want to have your tyres on the bursting point at all times particularly. Um, oh, that's where we get to. How we get to inventory? I don't know how on earth we sell. Oh, that's how we sell it. Uh, it'll, is there a way to sell lots of stuff if we have lots of stuff? I don't know. We want a gearbox in here. <laughs> I don't know why we have a gearbox. I don't know where it all came from. Uh, to be honest. Uh, well, we can't get rid. Of, we can't sell the broken parts. But uh, okay, we have various bits and pieces lying around in there. Shall we go for a drive? Let's let's go and do that thing. Let's forget about the oh no, not that button. I'll remember my controls eventually. Drop you back down. Um, let's forget about the exploded drag car that we did. Let's let's turn this on first. And okay, it it runs. It runs. That's a uh, that's a thing. Uh, let's go back and we will oh, we'll go first of all have a look at the map so last time I did it you could kind of go to the backyard and there was all of these sort of coming soon markers now there is an under construction marker off to the left hand side uh, however the other stuff is around uh, you can't teleport it to it you've got to actually go and drive so that's what we're going to do we're going to head out and uh, go for a little bit of a drive and see uh, there we go we can get going it's not really a uh, blistering start from our vehicle. However, we are going to, um, yeah, go and see hopefully some of the racing because I think there is racing to be done. And if I remember the map rightly, we follow this road. Oh, we've got three gears in this crap. Okay, I think we do already have three gears. Oh, there's a big jump on the right. Well, the gearbox that we had available to us in the garage might be usable. Uh, the handling of the cars has also apparently been improved, and it does seem less on the wobbly side. Uh, have we gone completely the wrong way? Maybe we have. Maybe that wasn't pointing... Oh, no, maybe that's the road over there. Okay, we'll just bounce our way around over here. Come on then, car. Uh, we will... <laughs> It's bobbing and banging like mad. A uh, great dirt track. Okay, yes, I want to go and have a have a attempt on a dirt track. Um, so we have not done any of the races here. Uh, so is it back guard? You have to race. I'll go for the silver time. Ooh. Um, okay, let's go. Let's go back. Should we go for the bronze time? Is it a thousand dollars? Right. Let's go for the bronze time. A one twenty six. I don't know how many laps we have to do it in. And I have no idea if my car is anywhere vaguely close enough to um, being competitive. When I did play this game last time, the AI were incredibly easy to beat at the one track that we had. Uh, that has since been improved. When I loaded this up, I very quickly went to uh, give it a try. Good God, we're racing through a uh, 
Sandstorm. Yeah, I did have a quick uh, quick look, and the AI are vastly improved compared to what they were last time, so they can put up a little bit more of a fight. Of course, if you do still happen to buy an incredibly quick car, or build up a very, very quick car and do the easy races, yeah, you're going to absolutely dominate them. But uh, they are more of a challenge than they were. They don't just sort of roll over for you to crawl around. You could probably, you could probably have won it in reverse in the, uh, in the first iteration, if you like. But... Uh, yeah, oh, this three-speed gearbox. We're going to buzz the limiter. Please don't. Oh, the car is running quite warm. Um, that's a, a small concern. Uh, I quite like that you, if you, you know, mess up with your build, things like temperature and so on, you can just fully explode the engine. You can quite easily fail this game. Like, you can quite easily go bankrupt from trying to do up cars, go to race them, push it too hard, explode it, and that be almost game over and have to start again. That's, you know, it's, it's a neat a neat little feature. A lot of games, you know, like Car Mechanic Simulator and so on, don't really let you fail. They, you know, you can't fail a job on that. I mean, Mind Summit Car, admittedly, you can sort of lose parts and I guess you can kind of run out of money, but uh, this is a more... Uh, obvious fail, if you like, and it's kind of, in some ways, a bit easier to just simply fail, just from, in my case, pressing the wrong button on the keyboard, but... Uh, <laughs> When you know the bindings a little bit better, you uh, yeah can can push cars too hard and so on. The temperature has sorted itself out a tad. I imagine if I'd put like a cheap radiator on a very very powerful drag car, and you know, if you're trying to you know, sort of mash it together, do it up at the end, that sort of thing again is another way for the cars to to fail. And I quite like having mechanical, like proper full-on mechanical failures in in game, especially when it's down to your incompetence building it. I, I do like to see random mechanical failures in games because you know, as much you know, as irritating it is to go out of a race with a random mechanical failure, that is part of racing. It does happen. It's something you have to you have to deal with, and yeah, it's nice to nice to see that. And certainly with a game like this, it's, it's more to be of your own doing. You know, you put the wrong radiator on it, you've pushed it too hard, or you put something dodgy on the car, and that's what's caused all of the trouble. Come on, vehicle! Come on, vehicle! Uh, I don't know if I quit the race now, whether I get the um, money for completing it. I have beaten the time, which is nice. Uh, we are, I'm glad I didn't go for the silver time. This isn't exactly the most powerful car in existence. Shall we go for a little bit? We'll go for some uh, track extending slash shortcutting, depending on uh, which... No, no, we are just quarter cutting now. <laughs> track extending will be on the outside of a corner, but this, I mean, this car is not exactly the fastest tool in the shed. So uh, I think as long as we get through those cones, it doesn't really matter. So if we go over here, which is going to make up our own track. Oh, it is a little bit bumpy out here. Uh, don't kill my suspension, please. Thank you. Um, little, little bumpy. Not sure that that particularly helped us in any way, shape, or form. I haven't had to get, <laughs> haven't had to get off the accelerator yet, which is um, yeah, we might have to here. No, I think we can just chuck it in. Chuck it in. Chuck it in. Shortcut a little bit. Yeah, it's quite it's quite lenient on the uh, on the corner. We're gonna have to lift here, I think. A tad. Not too much. Just a little lift. But there we go. Uh, he's relatively kind in terms of the uh, the corner cutting right there, and. Yeah, not the most technical of circuits, but admittedly it isn't in a particularly fast car. The circuits may get tougher, they may get uh, more demanding on your vehicle, because, yeah, I've had to lift once around the course of this lap. Fair bit of cheating along the way. Is it still isn't going to be enough to get me into a 113, so 16, uh, 5 will do. Well, for now, we won 2,000 monies on that, so we've now overall made money on this vehicle. We will head back to... Can we not go back out into free roam? Okay, uh, apparently. Apparently we can not. Uh, Carl is doing all sorts of, of popping and banging. Can I not do spark plugs on this? Uh, we'll fix up the body. It's, I guess it took it probably took a couple of knocks from uh, all of that. The rest of the things seem okay. Um, shall we see if Okay, let's let's try something. Let's fix that up. Uh, we're going to put a four-speed gearbox in the car, simply because I have one in my in my inventory. We should be able to just swap out this crap. Uh, we can remove that gearbox. Oopsie, and then we can put in our nice new D4 gearbox. Now we will have to take the clutch out of here. Clutch remove. And stick the clutch in there. Install. So now we have a proper a proper four-speed gearbox, which is nice. 
Uh, we could probably, I mean, there are probably ways. I don't know how to do aspiration swaps on this game yet. I know you can stick supercharges, and I know how I can buy them. Because uh, if we go over here, uh, we, ooh, we would probably need, we would need to find a supercharge. I don't know if you can actually turbo or supercharge the i6. Let's go and buy a new one. Uh, perhaps not. You might not be able to. I can just take the entire engine out and start afresh with a completely different engine. That is a uh, distinct possibility uh, as a way to um, to to improve your car. Uh, we will. Shall we just go stick it back down again? I, I, I want to now go and test it with a four speed, just because. Um, yeah, I kind of want to give it a give it a try. I don't know how to stop it from backfiring so much. I feel like there's probably... Ah, wait, it's from here, isn't it? Um, that we want to do it. That's why we need to change them. Uh, I vaguely remember a tutorial telling me about things and that this was something to do with it. Um, but they, I would have said that it was perfectly in the middle of the green anyway to begin with. So, you know, that's a thing. Well, we'll say that it's done. Um... <laughs> For now, for now, we'll just we'll just accept that the car is going to um, make noise. Uh, oh, keep it in the right gear. There we go. It will eventually go. I, I don't know whether that's like the side of a dodgy clutch or something. Oh, shall we go? Fine. Right, what we'll do is we'll head out over this way and we'll find the next area because I think there's another racetrack over here. We'll have a go at that time trial. See if we can make some money. Uh, so, yeah, now that we've got that uh, that new gearbox, we should in theory, have four gears. I'm not sure if our top speed is going to be massively improved because we don't really have any more power. God, it's so sluggish. So sluggish indeed. And, yeah, so there we go. You know, we've got uh, we've got a, now a nicer gearbox, at least, in our vehicle. I think somewhere over here there is a... Uh, yeah, there's a signpost telling me something's up. Uh, we will go forest. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't know there was a road here. There is a road here. Come on, car. Oh, go, move, maybe, eventually, I'll get out and push. That'll probably be faster. It's got like 170 horsepower. Admittedly, it's not exactly the lightest of cars, granted, but, uh... I mean, we're, we're struggling to do 60 miles an hour in this vehicle. Oh, hello, fellow person. Can I do things here? You've got a similar car to me. Uh, do I feel like a drag race? No. No, I don't, I don't, I don't particularly. I, f I feel like I would be murdered in a drag race. Uh, you have a similar car to me, but mine is awful. Mine is, mine is awful. I, I can cheat my way through the games races, but I'm not sure I can cheat my way. A drag race, if they get a better start than I, uh, we're sort of done for. Or is this the one... Uh, oh, God damn it. Have I gone to the bloody work in progress one? I bet I have. Uh, there's a gear in there somewhere. Oh, good God, that's terribly, terribly slow. Uh, <laughs> back to the garage. Yeah, I, typical, I went to the one work in progress one. Uh, okay, we'll go to the, that one over there. I want more power. I desperately want more power in this. We're going to buy a new engine. Can we have, like, a, a new... Oh, a new racing engine. Sounds tempting, but it's 13,000. Um, used V8 racing engine is 11,000. We can't afford that cheap RX V8 engine. 9,700 we can't afford either. Okay, let's not, let's not go for any of that. A complete CV8 Jingu engine. 6,000, we'll have it. Um, are you interested? It is a complete engine, so I will take that. And we will then go and fix our car up. Hopefully this will give us some performance to speak of. Uh, right, so if we remove all of that, uh, then we will install our nice new complete CV. Oh, it's actually completely brand new as well. Fantastic. Install that in there. It needs... Oh, it's apparently it's only got 169 horsepower. So it's no better than the bloody crap that we took off. What's it got? Oh, we haven't got a drive belt. Uh, to the paper, it was a CV8, wasn't it? So we're looking for a CV8... Drive belt? Um, where are the belts for stuff? Gear? Uh, I don't know where. And, where do you find a drive belt? I could probably steal, I might be able to steal a drive belt off of the 
um, engine that I just took out. Starter motor, spark plugs, generators. I cannot see. There's, there are filters over here. There are no dry belts anywhere. Am I going blind? Sorry to people who know where to look for them. That's all differentials and stuff it's not in extras let's go and try and steal a drive belt out of there um to be fair we can sell this engine and we'll made a fair bit of money back on all of that i can't seem to find a drive belt that's very annoying what bit are we needing to click on to get to it ah so generator is where we need to click on so Generator drive ah drive belt it is an L six one. Okay, back to the newspaper. Back to you. Uh we need to find probably generator then, which was in electrical. So yeah, there's generators down here. It doesn't seem to be Okay, let's buy a new one. We can buy a new horn if we uh if we need it, uh, this ignition, only finding, I'm not finding anything useful. Okay, we will try and we will see if stealing the drive belt off of the L6 is going to work. I doubt it, but we'll give it a try, because I bet that's not going to, okay, it does, ah, that is an incompatible thing. I don't know how to find a new one. Well, we tried to do an engine swap. Oh, drive, drive. Oh, this case, and I found, I found a drive belt. It's drive belt for uh, L6. Um, new drive belt for L6. Why is everybody use drive belt for a V6? Does nobody have a V8 drive belt anywhere at all? At least I figured it out now. Thankfully, um, we've got a L4. Assume that's the, the most basic of engines over there. Some dry belts for that. New one, please. Uh, <laughs> carburetor. There we go. Drive belt for a V8. I will take it. Thank you. And now we should. Uh, there we go. Install. Hey, we have an we have an engine. It's a crappy again. It's a god awful engine. But <laughs> I've basically done an engine swap for something that's not much better than the one that we began with. Well done, me. Uh, we should probably... Oh, sounds better. Doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Um, put that down. I did, like, I'm, I'm moving the throttle. It doesn't seem to do anything. I've probably now gone and forgotten to do something. That's all good. Probably works only a little bit dinged, so never mind. Okay, let's go and give it a test drive then. Ah, there we go. It sounds like it's very slowly charging the warp drive on a spaceship. Oh, that's much better. That's much better. Look at it go. It is practically bouncing its way through the outback. Look at the speed. We have passed 140 kilometers, almost 140 kilometers now. We changed gear and that. There we go. Look at that. Oh, it's much improved. My car is brilliant. My car is brilliant indeed. Oh, is this bit over here not around as well? Nope, okay. Maybe there is only uh, <laughs> one new racetrack. Fine, you know what? We're going to finish off. We're going to finish off by taking our engine swapped uh, saloon car for a little bit of a drive around the backyard. It's, it's only an oval race circuit that's kind of behind the garage. I mean, we've, we've kind of recovered relatively okay having exploded a car to begin with. Um, you know, it could have been, it could have gone worse. All the brakes might do with an improvement. Oh, okay, thankfully the signs are destructible. I got a little bit confused and wasn't quite sure where it wanted me to go and panicked and we spun around in a circle before then heading into the, uh, into the backyard. I don't know what was wrong with that other engine. I don't know why that other engine was having issues. Um, so we'll go do a race. Uh, we're going to have a, we're going to bet a thousand. We're going to bet a thousand on the race. See if our... Okay, it gets off to a shonky start. I don't know how to get them to start better. Like, I, I don't know what I can do in this to get it to actually, you know, move off of the uh, off of the line. So last time we did a race on here, uh, we kind of walked, completely walked away with it. We were lapping people in a three-lap race at a 
very, very short course oval track. Now we have actually got to work, admittedly hindered by our very, very poor getaway from the start there. Oh, he tried to pit maneuver me and he spun himself. Ha-ha! Ha-ha, that is karma and it's very, very finest. Yeah, now we are actually having to work a little bit to uh, try and get our way out through the field. I think I've still got the car here to take victory. I don't know what engine the vehicle ahead of us is going to be uh, to be driving with, to be running with. We're not going to throw it up the... Okay, we are going to throw it up the inside, unintentionally throwing it up the inside there. Because uh, we're going to wait uh, for this, I guess, sort of turn one. But uh, kind of went for it. He's got a little bit better... He's got a little bit better straight line speed than me, actually. Just not as good through the corners. Uh, oh, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that, because now that's... Oh, clunky, clunky gearbox. I don't know if improved gearboxes include improved clutch. I imagine they would speed up your uh, shift time. We're going to dive to the inside at the final turn. We're going to go for the lead. I think that's going to be victory for me here. Get it around the corner. And there we are. Across the line. We will take all of the money. One two thousand five hundred dollars That's not too bad. Now we're starting to make some of our money back. Um... Okay, so there is our, our car. When we're done with it, we can sell it on, which I am going to do here. Um, I was going to look at something else, but I can't remember what. Oh, I know what we were going to do. We were going to do... Um, oh, what am I doing? I remember the buttons eventually. I'm just going to go and uh, check if any of this stuff here needed doing, which I don't think it does. So we bought the car for 7200 We did admittedly do an engine swap on the vehicle, but uh, we can now sell it for 8000 We've won a couple of races... Uh, we won, what was it, 3,000, uh, no, what was it, it was 2,000 from that race, 2,500, so we won 4,500 from that, so if we sell the car, and then we've got various bits and pieces to be getting rid of, because we've got like the engine here, for example, that we can sell, uh, so we've made some money on that one, we've got a gearbox that we can get rid of, um, we've got a drive belt that we can sell. I don't know if there's a way to quick sell stuff. Uh, now I'm just going to sell other bits and pieces that I have lying around so I feel slightly better um, about the uh, terrible mess that we were in with that opening car. We're, we're, we're kind of vaguely back to where we started in terms of money. It would take a couple of thousand. It's fine. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, the engine swap was a bit, bit expensive. But you kind of get the idea. Uh, you get the idea. The handling physics much improved. The racing against the AIs is better. There is still not... Um, Oops, that's not the right place. Um, I haven't, can't look at the map because I haven't got a car, apparently. There's still not a huge amount in the way of um, things to be doing, but it is, it is being improved upon... Yeah, it's, it's definitely got it's definitely got considerably better. It's, it's definitely got uh, considerably better indeed. I I do like the, I like the fact that you can completely and utterly screw up a car. I, I like the fact that uh, there are sort of serious consequences if you mess up with a vehicle. You can lose a, a huge amount of money with a build when things go wrong. And that is it's an interesting concept. It's you know a bit more of a a risk versus reward kind of a thing. So yeah, if you're interested in sort of car mechanic in games, uh, this has got considerably better. Yeah, if you were put off by some of the shonkiness uh, from the initial release, it has got better over the last couple of months. I guess I don't know how long it's been out now, but. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. <laughs>